So one of the reviews of this afternoon tea was a two star review. Um, funnily enough, the other reviews on there are five star. So I don't know what to say about that. So the two star review says, um, unfortunately, the hotel floor where the afternoon tea was wasn't clean. It was by a patio and there was a draft. It wasn't pleasant. We had a friend's birthday, so they didn't listen to us when we asked to bring the cake. They brought it out when everything was delivered. Oh, I think that they mean when they brought it out at the same time they brought out the afternoon tea. Plus, only one waiter was kind enough to take a photo and help us out. The rest ignored us. <laughs> what I will say, this afternoon, um, the, the venue, for me, feels it's seen better days. It's quite old. Like the radiator near where I was sitting was kind of a bit rusty and falling apart. Um, the windows, you could see, it was all kind of yellow around the frames. And it's definitely a place that has, well, where I was sitting, where, where the afternoon was being held, has seen better days. So let's start off with the service. The service was really good. So when I went there, obviously the, they knew it was a group on afternoon tea. They asked to see the QR code. Then I said to my seat, I was then poured a glass of water. I didn't drink that glass of water. The um, glass was dirty. I don't know if you can see in this video, but there was like dust all around the edge. And I said, I'm not drinking that water at all. Um, then I was asked what tea I wanted and um, I opted for lemon ginger. Now, this is a 14 pound afternoon tea, so you're not going to get loose tea. This was just like a standard, like, I don't, think, I don't know if it was twinings or whatever, lemon and ginger tea. The tea was fine, but the teapot was weird because every time I was pouring from it, it kept coming, it just poured awkwardly. So half of it poured into the cup and half of it poured into the floor. And I wasn't finding the only thing. There was somebody else who was sitting, another couple who was sitting over there and they found the same thing. So I don't know what kind of teapot it was or where they got them from, but the teapots were like bad because half of the tea ended up on the floor. I also forgot to mention the saucer was dirty. And yes, I could have said to them it's a dirty saucer, but then my thing is I'm not drinking from the saucer. As long as the cup was clean, that was fine and the cup was clean because I'm drinking from the cup. But still, you know, attention to DL, not really there. So the tea came out. Didn't, I didn't have to wait too long for the tea. It all came out together. So you had the sandwiches, the scones, and then the sweets. The sandwiches I had, it was... Cheese and tomato, cucumber, salmon, and I forgot one. Oh, egg. And they were fine. You know, no, nothing bad to say about them. Then the scones, so I had one raisin and one plain. The scones were a bit, mine were a little bit overdone, a little bit dry, but the taste was there. The jam and cream provided was fine. The jam, though, you could tell it was the cheapest jam. You could just tell it was the cheapest jam. And then the sweets were, we had like a brownie, a macaron, and a kind of little pastry cup thing. I, I know there's a special name for it. I don't know what it is. I can't think of it off my head. Um, they were all okay. And then there was this kind of, I don't know if it was a cheesecake, but it was, I don't know what happened, but the taste was off. I tasted coffee in it and then some other weird taste. And I don't know if it was an off taste because I was like I'm not eating that because I feel that if I was going to eat that I would have been probably sick um so I don't know what happened there something something went wrong with that sweet so all in all it was okay um like I said the service was good I was the first one there for the sitting so I could kind of choose where I wanted to sit and I, I sat next to the window um there was a few people there so obviously you know, people do use Groupon and it's a really good way of getting things for cheaper because like I said, we're living in a, in a time where everything is so expensive, but we still need to be able to treat ourselves, but we want to do it affordably. So Groupon, using Groupon for me, for afternoon teas, is a way of doing it. And I'm doing these reviews so that for you to see that, you know, yes, if you want to treat yourself to afternoon tea, but you know, money's a bit tight, you can. Um, I would give it three or three and a half. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the average afternoon tea. It's not, gonna, it's not a luxurious afternoon tea, so you have to kind of temper your expectations. But it, yeah, it was, it was fine. It was okay. Three, three and a half. 
So that's my review. Let me know in the comments if you've been to this afternoon tea. Um, I'll put the details in the description. I'm not, as you know, I'm not going to put, I don't put links anymore because of what happened to me before. I don't know, if you don't know, I put a link to a place I went to a long time ago and then YouTube basically accused me of, of using a phishing website when it wasn't me. I just posted the link. So the website that I posted was, it was dodgy, which I didn't know. So I don't post links anymore. I just post the information so you can just go and Google it yourself. Um, so yeah, until next time, Kate lovers.